Our reading today is from St. John, chapter 21, verse 1 to 19. Later on, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples. It was by the Sea of Tiberias, and it happened like this. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two more of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. And they replied, we'll come with you. They went out and got into the boat, but caught nothing that night. It was light by now, and there stood Jesus on the shore, though the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus called out, have you caught anything, friends? And when they answered no, he said, throw the net to the starboard, and you will find something. So they dropped the net, and there were so many fish that they could not call, uh, haul it in. The disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. And at these words, It is the Lord, Simon Peter, who had practically nothing on, wrapped his cloak round him and jumped into the water. The other disciples came on in the boat, towing the net and the fish. They were only a hundred yards from the land. As soon as they came ashore, they saw that there was bread there and a charcoal fire with fish cooking on it. And Jesus said, Bring some of the fish you have caught. Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore, full of big fish, 153 of them. And in spite of there being so many, the net was not broken. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. None of the disciples were bold enough to ask, Who are you? They knew quite well it was the Lord. Jesus then stepped forward, took the bread and gave it to them. And the same with the fish. This was the third time that Jesus showed himself to the disciples after rising from the dead. After the meal, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? And he answered, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said, Feed my lambs. The second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And he replied, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said, Look after my sheep. Then he said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he asked him the third time, Do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know everything. You know I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. I tell you most solemnly, when you were young, you put on your own belt and walked where you liked. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and somebody else will put a belt around you and take you where you would rather not go. There are some obvious features, Stephanie, in this story, especially around Jesus' uh, um, relationship with Peter. Mm -hmm. The uh, third request for him to express his love, and all of us look back immediately to mm. Peter's three times of denial. So we, we see this as a, a reconciliation moment right. for Peter. So Jesus saying, you denied me three times. Three times. Please say now that you love me three, three times. Three times, yes. yes. Yeah. And you wonder, it, it's not necessary to beg forgiveness three mm. times, but mm. there seems, the writer seems to want to make that a very mm. nice little couplet of mm. three denials and okay. three um, expressions of mm. love. Mm. Although you find Jesus using it for a statement, to feed my lambs, to tend for my sheep, and then to feed my sheep. So something mm. else is happening there. Yeah. Tend to and care mm. for and then feed. So there's It's interesting that you should pick up on that because I picked up on that piece too. And I think the sentence I heard was the one right near the end which said, when you are older, someone else will put a belt round you. Yes. Having cared for an aging mother until she died, I recognize what happens when people get old and they yes. can't do what they want to do. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's a very precious moment when, when somebody has to realise they can't. And I watched my mother go through that and I actually 
um, prayed this bit of scripture with her yes. and we talked about it yes. because she was finding it difficult to accept having to move to another level yes. of um, hospital yes. care. And the reassurance that yeah. Jesus is there in spite of your condition, that Absolutely. Jesus is in, this, yes. in that state yes. with you. Yes. And in a way that end bit links up with the beginning bit for me because of that, because Peter and his disciples had been fishing all night and they'd got nothing mm -hmm. and they thought it was pretty hopeless. And Jesus comes along and says, put your nets out again, yes, and what happens? Yes. So sometimes when we feel we can't do anything for ourselves and it's pretty hopeless, the unexpected will happen and yeah, Jesus will be there. There will be either a person or yeah. an intuition yes. that will, will yes. uh, save us. I find it, and, and I only noticed this in this time of reading, that Peter was back on the sea fishing and he'd be told to come and be a fisher of men. Mm. So his despair at the death of Christ mm. is very clearly indicated. Yeah. He'd gone back to the sea, he'd gone back to being a fisherman, yeah. and he was being called by Jesus back onto the shore once more. He'd been there once yeah. and yeah. been told to be a fisher of men. And he'd even seen the resurrection and yes. still couldn't yes. quite this grasp. A, Yes, yeah. yes. I found that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and everybody comments on, uh, he put his robe back around himself. Mm. Um, most of us would not care if we had to go to Jesus on the shore with or without a robe, know. with or uh, without spiritual clothing. There's a lovely reflection yeah. on yeah. what is your spiritual clothing. So maybe yes. that's something that we could think about as we go into the next week. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. Yes, I think um, we're ready for uh, the revelation that Jesus has turned the page mm. for Peter. Mm. This is a new episode. Mm. I no longer, well, I suppose asking three times does indicate he mm. remembered mm. what had happened mm. in Peter's mm. life. Mm. But it's a very nice mm. transition. Come and eat with me, which is fellowship. Come and be one with me again. Yes. Mm.